Tell me about the children. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result was the ultimate soldier. And because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. When one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified. My work saved the human race. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies. Difficulty with socialization and The records show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him. Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Halo 4. Now, <clears throat> I know that probably a lot of people in my typical audience, which is now dwindled to, I would say, probably... three or four people? Five, maybe? Six? Six, perhaps? Uh, don't... probably necessarily like first-person shooters. But... I'm, I'm kind of hoping that this game might change their minds a little bit. I'm hoping. I mean, I, I certainly can hope. So anyways, uh, what's the general premise of this game so far? Well, in the first three Halo games, essentially, had it's Halo is pretty much a sci-fi story. So if you are a fan of Star Trek or, like, Doctor Who or something like that, this might be appealing to you. Um, it's essentially a sci-fi story, and in, in the first game... Humanity uh, is at war with an alien race, and they find um, what appears to be sort of like a derelict kind of space station, almost Star Wars-like, if you prefer that. So if you like Star Wars, you might find this appealing as well. Um, so basically, they find this derelict space station, but instead of it being the Death Star, it's like the Death Star with no people on it, but... You know, it can it can blow up planets with like one shot. Like it's it's the Death Star. So they're flying in space and they find the fucking Death Star. But then on the Death Star, they find this sort of like ancient ruins or something. Maybe like Indiana Jones. If you like Indiana Jones, you might like this. I don't know. So they find this like ancient Temple of Doom, and inside the Temple of Doom, they find the Zerg. So if you like Starcraft, maybe you might kind of like this. I don't know. Uh, so they find the fucking Zerg inside the Temple of Doom, inside the fucking Death Star, while they're flying in space at war with an alien race. So, 
then the next two games sort of involve like the alien races and the humans like cooperating because they got to kill the zerg that they found in the temple of doom that they found on the death star while they're flying in space fighting a war with the aliens oh god goes on forever and ever anyways they end up succeeding in killing the zerg and the in, yeah you get the whole thing they ended up killing the zerg and they did so by like blowing themselves up and sacrificing themselves and all that junk so now we're here Ugh, what's going on we wake up we've been out for a while where are we we're still adrift on the dawn why did you wake me hang on bringing your systems online now I will be firmware while you are out. You've been busy. Activating the ship's gravity generator. Chief, look up. You need to pull the manual release. Alright. So we wake up four years later. Let's just let's just keep going as if we don't know what's going on. So we're Master Chief. Seems like old times. Ready to get back to work? I thought you'd never ask. <clears throat> We've got intrusion alerts lighting up on Okay, so anyways, here we are, we wake up. We're Master Chief, and Cortana woke us up. Cortana... You see, Cortana... What? The deal with Cortana is, she's ready to get back to work. She's ready to work. She's a utility, she's a tool, she's... Somebody should have found us. She's objectified. What's that? Sensor scan, high intensity, doesn't match any known patterns. How close are we to the observation deck? It's directly above us. All right, so now, you know. The elevator doors look sealed tight. Gotta find the elevator. <clears throat> so that's the thing, that's the thing that's appealing about the Cortana character. So like, if you see a lot of guys who are like, oh man, a Cortana is so attractive, you know. Like, that's just because they haven't known that kind of thing in real life yet. But they will, someday. Chief, watch out! I didn't realize the ship had deteriorated so badly. <laughs> now... Ugh. Man, look at all this shit we're going through. Oh, fuck! Look at that thing. No, Thought goodbye. We truce with the covenant. <sighs> what happened to that damn truce? Either way, he's probably not alone. Alright, see now, women might find this game unappealing if there is any women indeed watching this right now. I kinda doubt it. Okay. Let's see, we have our weapons here. We're being invaded. See, like, <laughs> see, I was, like, kind of going on this thing, like, about Cortana, and the women in the audience now are like, what? Finish the thought. Something like that, maybe. That's the last of them. Find the Let's override reload. for the blast shield so we can see what we're up against. All right, where was that override? It was up here, where we assassinated somebody. See, now we're all in the action, and we're not finishing the thought. The good news is, these Covenant aren't outfitted like standard military. It's possible we just came across a rogue salvage ship. Okay, rogues. Where are they? Kill the rogues. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay, we're badasses again. Whew! Maybe they haven't recognized us. That's one possibility. Where? 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 Didn't recognize who? What? Wait! There's landing craft! Wait, 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 wait. He's standing right there. <laughs> See, Halo, Halo's... <laughs> that's, that's the interesting thing about Halo, as to me... It's it's really more about the spaz kill than anything else. It's it's interesting. The decompression okay. the room into lockdown. <gasps> It'll take a few minutes to repressurize. Wait, it's locked down? Don't decompress! We need to get off this ship. We've got bigger problems. We've got a crew 
cruiser on an intercept course. Head for the elevator banks. Okay, let's swap weapons. Ship the ship defenses online. Only the Hyperion missiles, but we'll have to the Hyperion, Starcraft, where? Okay. <sighs> We're in the elevator, relax. You know, you cannot find this song on the soundtrack anywhere. We're getting too far into it now, but it's just it's it's just an act, viewers. Relax, okay? You're you're safe. Typically, see, there's a way to play this game, because there is a way you can play where Cortana will not respond to what you say, because typically she is supposed to respond right there. We're just about there. So, that's your measure. Understand? In-game. In-game measure now. In-game measure. There is extra ammo on the walls here if you're playing along at home. Sniped. See, that's a good lesson. See, when the arrogance comes into play, loss. Cortana. 